In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an Amazon machine image on EC2. So for that, let's go to AWS console and let's click on EC2. And now we are going to click on instances and here we are going to launch a new instance. So first we need to give a name for this instance. Let's say my first my first instance and for application and OS images you can choose Amazon Linux which is provided by AWS and you can leave all the default configurations like instance type but for kpeer we need to select the kpeer that we have already created and for network settings we need to click on edit and here we need to change from create security group to select existing security group and here we need to select the launch wizard one and for the configure storage you can leave 8 gigabytes and gp3 and for advanced details you need to click on this arrow button and go to below to the user data and here we need to copy and paste some scripts so in your case you can go to the, this video description and copy the following code here as you can see i have a code but i'm going to copy from bin bash until system ctl enable httpd so do not copy the echo h1 hello world because this will create index html file but we don't want this for now so i'm going to paste it here and we can simply click on launch instance and let's go to below and click on view all instances and now as you can see our instance is in pending state so we need to wait a few seconds until it's running usually it takes about 20 to 10 to 20 seconds so as you can see you just uh, wait a bit and then click on this instance and you will see lots of details about it instance so now what we need to do we need to check the public ipv4 address here as you can see so i'm going to copy the address and open in a new tab and i'm going to paste simply here and enter and now it will not work because you need to give it some time and after some time as you can see you will see it works so that's fine so now with this instance my first instance i'm going to click on right of the mouse and here i'm going to go to image and templates and create image and here we need to give the image name let's say my custom ami amazon machine image and if you want you can give image description but it's optional so you can leave all the default as it is and click on create image and it's now creating and if you want to see about it you can go to the images and under images you can see there is AMIs Amazon machine images and if I click on that you can see I have two Amazon machine images the one is the one the, the one is that I have already created before this recording and the one that we have created together you can see my custom AMI this one is also same configuration but I already created it because uh, when you create a new Amazon machine image it usually takes a bit of time so that's why in order to save some time I created earlier this demo image but don't worry all the configurations the same as we did in my custom AMI so as you can see now the one that we have created together my custom mi is now in pending state status but the one that i have created before this recording is available so we can use that so in order to create a new instance using this amazon machine image you can basically click on this launch instance from ami or you can go to instances and click on launch instance and here i'm going to give it name let's say my AMI or my custom instance and here for application and OS images 
Now we, we are not going to continue with Amazon Linux, which is provided by AWS. Instead, we want to continue with the AMI that we have created, that we have owned. If you click on my AMIs, you can see there is a two options, owned by me or shared with me. So basically we are going to click on owned by me. And if you click on here, this uh, Amazon machine image, you can see there is a two AMIs that I have created. So the, the one which is available now is demo image. And my custom image uh, AMI is not ready. It's in padding status. So that's why we are going to continue with demo image. So in your case, just wait a bit until it's done and then you can use your my custom Amazon machine image. So let's continue with that. Now I'm going to leave the instance type as t2.micro and for keep here, I'm going to select my EC2 tutorial. And for network settings, I'm going to click on edit and select existing security group. And here I'm going to select launch wizard one and I'm going to leave the configure storage as it is. And I'm going to click on advanced details and I'm going to go to below section to user data. And here I'm going to paste some script. And this time we are not going to the paste the, the installation part. Instead, I'm going to copy bin bash first three lines and then last line, which is echo, as you can see, I'm going to copy that and paste it so you can basically stop this recording of this video and then just um, you can just pause this video and then copy this script you can write it so you can see here we are writing bin bash use this for this user data and then we are creating a new hello world from this index.html so now i'm going to click on launch instance as you can see we have an one number of instances Let's click on instance, launch instance. And now let's click on view all instances. And now our custom instance is now in pending state. So we need to wait a few seconds or we need to wait a bit. And let's click on refresh this refresh button. And then you will see that it's, it will be running. So just give it time because it's still now initializing. So if we click on this, my custom instance, you will see the details. And if we copy this public IPv4 address in a new tab, we copy that, you can see it's showing me hello world from the IP. So this is the, as you can see, it speed up the boot time because uh, we are not installing HTTPD we are just, uh, you know, uh, using the our custom Amazon machine image. So this is how you can create an Amazon machine image on EC2. That's all about it. So if you like this video, please subscribe to this channel and like my videos. See you in the next videos.